part five tv box sets and other such goodies first box set or the first series it's not really a box set is um british comedy very 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 dark british comedy um jam chris morris who you may know from um the day-to-day -day, brass eye and stuff like that other controversial stuff like that this is like to me the most extreme thing he's ever done um i sat and watched this like in one day um because i hadn't seen it in, in a long time since it was on tv so um i'm gonna review it kind of in the next dvd watchers update because i figured it i owed it that so <laughs> and it's very fucked up um like all chris morris dvds it comes with like no information at all on it um it says Extras included in this package, one crashing air airliner, eight tons of geese, and a 50-foot pl plutonium bum. <laughs> yeah, that's what it says. Um, I love this slipcase like that. It's got jam cut out. And then, my poor pr prisoner box that's getting a beating. And then it shows this very weird spaced out image, which is very much like jam. Um, you got Julia Davis there from Nighty Night and other such things. That guy is from Nighty Night as well. Um, Mark Heap from Spaced. Um, that woman there, she's in Big Train as well. Um, yeah, Big Train and other such things. Um, yeah, anyway. Yeah, so basically if you like British comedy, you'll probably notice the guys that are in this. Um, it is messed up. <laughs> Let's put it that way, it's so messed up and um, it's trippy and it's all kinds of weirdness and I love it. Um, yeah, so this one and two, as I said, absolutely no. If you had no idea what Jam is and you saw this DVD, you would have, you would still not have an idea because it says nothing on it. Um, I'll say one thing about it, the extras, there are basically no extras but it kind of kids you into thinking there are... Um, Oh, what does it do? Yeah, there's like a menu where it's like forced to watch something like about forced watching. So you click it, and it's like, why have you clicked this? Now, now the program will play, and you won't be able to do anything about it. So literally, none of the buttons on your control work. You have to turn it off at the um, DVD player, <laughs> and other such things like an extra like watching it in miniature. Um, basically, Chris Morris is taking the piss out of DVD extras, um, which is quite funny but annoying um yeah i'm probably going to put a clip in the side whatever way um of one of my favorite jam clips it's very tame compared to a lot of what's in this so i recommend everyone watches it but it doesn't mean you'll necessarily like the show but yeah i've rambled on enough about jam but um yeah if you like dark stuff if you like like nighty night um and chris morris's other stuff definitely check out jam if not check out some clips first okay and then I got for very cheap like four pound um, randomly um, Kirsty Alley in Fat Actress I'm um, complete first season I don't know if there's another season I'm not really sure basically I was intrigued about this um, I'm getting a dead leg oh I was intrigued about this so I like I saw the region 2 version was really cheap but I couldn't find any information about if it had the extras, so I... It's showtime. Showtime are awesome. So I um, went f for the region one, and luckily I found a really cheap copy on eBay. Um, basically, it's like... Um, Kirstie Alley sort of plays herself, but um, it's scripted and it's a bit more extreme. And John Travolta's in it. <laughs> Seriously, I'm like obsessed with him. Um, so we have disc one. I'm guessing it's taking the piss out of the fact she was like, got really fat. Is she still thin now? I know she lost all that weight, but I don't know if she's blown back up again. Either way, she's really pretty, Kirstie Alley. Um, I really like her. So that's Fat Actress. I know nothing about the show really apart from 
people have said it's like a Curb Your Enthusiasm clone unlike Lisa Kudrow's The Comeback um, so I'll see how it is and then maybe tell you what I thought of it later and then I got Prison Break Season 2 um, yeah I have Season 1, been wanting Season 2 for a while because I absolutely love this season, it's so awesome um, but I now have a problem with Prison Break I don't watch it anymore um, basically if you watch Prison Break you know what it's like they ki they've they kill off like every character ever they just honestly someone gets killed like every two minutes and that's fine because it's like really exciting and stuff and you get over it but um I didn't like season three and I thought I'd give it a chance because I thought you know it's probably because it's such a big change he's in the dark night um but I just I failed to adapt to the change and they also killed another one of my favourite characters off and yeah I won't say any more for those of you that liked season 3 um, let me know if it got better like was the ending good and stuff like that I heard um, season 4 I heard something about season 4 I can't remember what I heard but um, I'm going to check that out but yeah I've got like a love-hate relationship with Prison Break at the moment I'm it broke my heart basically but season two was awesome, and season one is awesome, so you should watch those if you haven't. And then I got, um, again, really cheap, like £3, £4 off eBay. Um, the Chronicles of Narnia, um, the complete four-disc collector's edition. These are the TV movies, um, British ones from the 80s. The only one I've watched in this is for um, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Um, I had that on VHS when I was younger and absolutely loved it watch the shite out of it um so i've always wanted to have it on dvd just for like nostalgia sake um and it's got the other ones there it's got prince caspian the voyage of the dawn treader and the silver chair i never read these books so other than the lion the witch and the wardrobe i don't really know anything about it it's got behind the scenes <laughs> um big cook little cook so yeah, these are the kids from um, Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Um, I'm assuming they're in all of the films actually, but yeah, that kid annoyed me. I wonder who, if she does TV work anymore, but she annoyed me in this. So yeah, it just falls out like that. Stooge pack. Um, I loved the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe when I was younger. I absolutely loved it. And I always, it sounds really sad, I wonder if I'm the only person to do it, but I did used to go into my wardrobe and pray that it would open up into Narnia. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the next one I got from secondspin.com, which is, um, you can buy used DVDs on there for fairly cheap. But they had 20% um, off and free shipping international deal going on, so I took advantage of it. And I want to thank... A YouTube user called Patrick Argentina because he pointed it out to me um, and I fa found Desperate Housewives season 2 on there for about £10 delivered so um, so it was all good because I got this and then I opened it up and there was a disc missing and the booklet was missing and I was like what the hell so I contacted them wasn't very happy and um, yeah they shipped out me a new one so I have two um, I can't remember which one's got the disc missing, but the new one that came, um, came with the disc and the book, so, let's open it up to have a look. Um, yeah, it's this one, this one's the bad one. Okay, um, Cookie, I'm going to have to move you. So, as you can see, disc one, two, three, <gasps> four is missing, five and six, booklet's missing, not impressed. Um, on a good note, I've got spares of all of the discs apart from four now, so so this is the one, the new one they sent me. Um, I love these books, it's so much better than the Region 1, Region 2 ones. The Region 2s um, don't come in nice digipacks like this. Same with Moss. So, now we can see disc four is there. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. And we have all our booklets in their rightful places. Um, season two of Desperate Housewives wasn't amazing. Um, but I love Desperate Housewives a lot. I love it so much. And um, season three came back with a vengeance. It was awesome. Um, season four was good too, but season three was amazing. Okay, I've put that in the wrong way. So I'm going to cut it off there. And um, in the next part, which should be the final part, um, I got one more TV box set and two limited edition things. Um, not big ones, but yeah. So see you in part six, which is the final part, should be the final part.